We've probably reached a point in our series of lessons when it's a good idea to stop and reflect on uh, what we've done. Sort of uh, discern what progress we've made and also consolidate our gains. and Think about patterns of what we've studied. Especially patterns that reveal how the developers of the language think. So you can sort of anticipate the next thing you use how it's going to work because you understand how their minds work. Much like uh, generals anticipating their enemy or chess players anticipating the next move of their opponent. And one thing you've got to notice if you do that is that all these objects are often contained within other objects and the way in which they're contained is through collections. It's much like the first lesson where we discussed uh, arrays of structs. And for instance, uh, in ADO.net collections, we had tables, uh, rows, and collections, which were allocated objects to data table were the objects of the tables collection. The uh, data rows were the objects of the rows collections and the data relation were the objects of the relation collection and in list box we had the items collection which you had the add method and you'd add an item to the list box and it appear on the screen with the list box in the tree view collection you had nodes rather than items which a node is an old programming term for something which has a pointer usually a pointer to another node of the same type as itself so you can link nodes together sort of like the old tinker toys with the circles and the sticks and uh, in list view collections we have two types or in list view we have two types of collection we have columns and we have uh, items the same as uh, list box items except the items in the list view are actually made up of compound items when you talk about a detail view. There's list view items as the, the class type and there's also list view sub items as the class type. But the main thing we want to discuss in this lesson is the columns collection which is made up of column header class types. This is our growingly familiar XM Movies three panel display. As you recall, the tree view is in the panel on the left, and the upper right panel contains the list view that we're going to be looking at in the next couple of lessons. And once again, the first thing I did was I gave the uh, make sure list view selected here. I gave the list view a meaningful name. So I went up to uh, name and gave it the view LSV middle info in good Hungarian notation format. And then another thing I had to do was go down to the view property and give it a property of details because the way we want to do this program, the tree view is going to be the highest level of uh, abstraction. You know, it's going to be the least revealing level. The list view is going to have more details, sort of like a headline in a newspaper, where you can just scan the headlines to see what you want. And then if you're really interested in it, you can click in the list view, and there'll be a details view down here that gives all the information we know about the given movie. So one of the first things we want to do in the details view of the... Uh, list view is create column headers which define the fields that are going to be displayed. And in order to do this we go to the uh, load event of the form main which happens every time the form is loaded. And right below where we initialize the tree view with its values we have an initialized list view and we have a data item defined as column header call head. We can use the same one over and over because we're alloc allocating them on the heap and then adding them to a collection. So once they're added to the collection we can just allocate a new one on the heap 
and add that one to the collection, each one in turn. So here we allocate our first uh, column header on the heap with a new, and then we give it the name title and the text, and we give it a width of 200. And then we go into the columns collection. Remember we're talking about collections are really a main paradigm for C Sharp. And we use the add method to add this column header as the first header. And the first header is the most important one because in terms of list items, the first list item is the real list item, so to speak, and the other list items are just sort of attributes. So for the second one, we do the same process. We do a new column header, set the text to year, set the width to 50 since year doesn't take up that much space. And then we do a columns add to the uh, list view middle info object to add that. And we continue the process with two more. Rating, which has a width of 70, and directors, which has a width of 200. So when we compile and run this, we get a form that looks like this. has the title, year, rating, and director column headers. And in the next lesson, we're going to actually use the tree view to cause the content of this detail view to change in the list view. And we'll actually see these details displayed based on what we click in the tree view. Well, I'll see you at that lesson. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and remember to focus and learn a lot.